In order to make this homemade super soaker, these are the items you're going to need. You're going to need a bicycle pump and the flexi pipe valve that comes with most bicycle pumps and make sure it works. Uh, you're going to need a strong plastic bottle. Now generally bottles that are um, designed for fizzy drinks uh, are good because they have a stronger walled plastic uh, to take the pressure that might build up inside a fizzy drink bottle and uh, a nice good strong sealing cap. Uh, you're going to need a board. So I have this piece of 2 by one about two foot long, perfect for the job. You're going to need a old bicycle tire inner tube because it's the valve that we want more than anything. You're going to need a biro or pen. Um, we're going to be using the uh, tube part of this and the nib as well. You will need a length of thin rubber tubing. The type I found is about six millimeters thick. You're going to need a scissors, you're going to need some strong tape and you're going to need a drill and a drill bit that is slightly smaller than the diameter of the valve. So the first thing we'll do is we'll get the valve out of the inner tube. You just snip either side. The important part of this is the valve and the base of it here. We can trim it back to size later. Next we will drill two holes in the bottle cap, one for the valve to push through and the other for the rubber tubing where the water will come out. And I'm going to make sure that my drill, my hole goes to the side to allow room for the second hole also. So I'll do that. It pushes through. So it's a good tight fit there now. And you can see the rubber here on this um, helps to seal in around there as well. But what's going to be more important for that seal really will be, and I'll just take it out again here now. Will be the base of this and leaving enough of that on so the one is jammed up against the bottom of the cap that it um, creates a nice tight seal. And we want to trim it down. And always make sure that you leave enough of a lip on that there that it's going to seal tight against the bottle cap. The next thing you want to do is test this little device on the bottle by putting it on and we're going to make sure that it's nice and airtight and watertight. Now I should be able to listen. I can feel that getting very hard and I don't hear a thing. And sometimes if you hit the bottle you get a nice ring and it tells you that you get a nice pressurized container there. The air inside cannot escape back out the valve and so it will force the air and water out the other hole in the bottle cap which I'll drill out now. Set it up on my little drill block and drill my second hole. I have my cap with the valve in it and a hole for this pipe. Now this pipe will be the water outlet that squirts at people and you can see that it's just the right fit, you know, but it won't be a very tight seal. Inside the bottle when that's under pressure this is going to leak so we need to find a way to make that an airtight water type leak. So for this size pipe what I found was a little plastic tube here that I found in the top of a biro. Um, you can see that kind of a plastic tube except for I found a biro that has a slightly longer one and uh, I just put a hole in the top of it with a drill bit and I want that now to 
be pushed down inside my pipe. So it's a perfect fit. So I have that pushed down there. And you can see there's that much there where it's uh, the plastic tube um, and the rubber uh, pipe around it. And I want to push that down so that it seals the hole that I drilled in the bottle cap. So that's it there perfectly. And that should withstand the kind of pressure that we're going to be putting into this bottle. So that when we seal it up now, screw on the bottle, that that is our basic assembly, the essential part of our uh, water blaster. So air gets pumped in, this one way valve, it cannot come back out. It just gets pumped in, pressurizes the container that has water in it, pushing the water out the pipe to a nozzle that we put on the end of this, and that is essentially our water gun. What are we going to put on the end of this in order to make a nice tight nozzle? Well, I was going to use this. So if you take out the refill, you can actually take this part off. Now, of course, the ink will get all over the place. So if you find a biro that has very little or no ink left in it, all the better. Um, and you can also take the tiny little nib off at the end. So what I did was I used a little pliers and if you can have two pliers even, if you hold that gently but firmly and then get your pliers and get the very nib and pull it off and pull off the refill part of it as well, you will end up being left with one of these. Just like that. And that is a little tube with a tiny little nozzle. And the beautiful thing about it is, is that it drops inside that, all the way down to the bottom. And so inside it makes a lovely little sprayer. But in these biros you can see that there's a tiny little hole here that uh, um, you don't want to be interfering with your air and water flow. So what I suggest is that you get a hacksaw here and you cut it. So now with my nozzle, I'm going to feed the pipe in there. Now it's a very tight fit here, so I find sometimes if you cut an angle on that there, it helps you to get started. And then you can just tease that down, force it down until it's as far as you can get it. So, if that's where I'm going to do that, and that's how much I need for the pump, I'd say right about the centre of this would be a good spot for my two holes. Where it is. I'm going to go... First hole. And my second hole. I want it to fit as neatly as it can. Pull that through. So you can see that here I have enough room to screw on my flexi pipe. Good and tight. And so there we go. We have that much of the assembly done. I'm going to tape that on there. Maybe tape that on there. And there we go. That is essentially the thing made. Now, of course, the idea is not to waste water. So try to avoid filling from a tap or a garden hose. Instead, try to collect rainwater or use puddles. Or indeed, have your water fight at the beach or close to some other safe, sustainable and renewable water supply. So a final finishing touch to this design would be to add a support there. 
that you can strap the bottle to, you know, with rubber band or something. So the way I would do it is get two pieces there and there, and that's what we're going to do. So now, I'm going to put on the gun, we can use an elastic of some sort to hold the bottle in place. That way it eliminates the wobble and makes it a much more stable um, join here. It doesn't put this join under as much pressure.